In the previous video, we talked about all the features of the SE74 and how uh, to get them to function the way we wanted to, to run both lights, signal lights, and uh, turnout motors. What we'll do in this short video is to describe how to uh, connect the SE74 to JMRI and our uh, track plan, our, our layout plan, uh, so that we can actually control the uh, tortoise turnouts by uh, touching or clicking on the uh, turnout symbol on our layout plan. Here we see the simple oval track layout that we designed in previous discussions of building a layout with Panel Pro and JMRI. Uh, this has two sidings and four uh, switch tracks for getting on and off the sidings. What we want to do now is try to set up a demonstration of how to uh, connect the SE74 control of a tortoise machine to this turnout right here. Our previous uh, delineation of numbers for these turnouts, 11, 12, 13, and 14, won't work uh, as we are using the SE74. And we'll go back and review that here in uh, just a second. But this diagram uh, will continue to work with just as an example of how to set up these various operations. On my layout, I used exclusively the Smail machine with a built-in uh, digital de decoder. And with the Smail machine, you have the capability of programming a specific address that will operate these Circuitron uh, turnout motors. If we are using the SE74 and tortoises, we do not have the capability of assigning the specific turnout address, uh, switch address that we would like to use because that is determined by how we set up each individual SE74. In the previous video on the 74, we showed that the addresses had to be uh, changed on this particular one here on my layout because I have conflicts with the way it was set at the factory. At the factory, it's set for a base address of 253. Here, the base address is 325. And if you will recall from that previous discussion, uh, the first four numbers are assigned to the turnout motor control of the SE74, whatever turnouts are connected to this SE74. I here have one tortoise machine connected to turnout number one on this SE74, which we previously set to have a base address of 325. So that base address of 325 controls turnout motor number one, 26 would control turnout motor number two if we attached it here, and so forth. So the problem with using an SE74 is that we have to go with the system that they designed and we don't get to uh, identify an individual turnout number, for example, 11, 12, 13, and 14 in our little diagram. If we were using the smales, I could assign this smail to operate at address 11 and then we could continue with our numbering system the way we previously did. In this case, we're going to have to change our previous uh, design on the layout to make it possible to use the SE74 to control the tortoises with uh, touch control or mouse control. So what we are going to have to do in this uh, particular operation is change the assignment of this turnout, which previously was number 11, we're going to have to make it respond to the switch number 325 in order to get it to actually change our turnout motors. This is accomplished in the turnouts table of JMRI. And the way that we start this operation is we go to the tools uh, menu on the control panel for JMRI 
And then we have to go up and look at turnouts, which is up here at the top, and click on that. And that will cause us to open up this table here. That is our list of turnouts. And if you notice, we already have turnouts number 11, 12, 13, and 14 in the table because those were the original assignments. Well, we can't do that anymore. I'm going to move this uh, table down just a little bit so we can see that what we want to accomplish is to change what was turnout 11 to turnout two, uh, 325. As it stands right now, as we click on this uh, uh, turnout here on the diagram, we will get a different response here in the table showing that it is now closed, which in fact the turnout is in the closed position. So in order to accomplish this, we're going to have to add in uh, another turnout that is numbered 325, which then will respond to the switch code 325. In order to do that, we click on the Add button down here at the bottom, and a window opens up. It's at the top of the screen. I'll just draw it down here where we can see it. And we're going to go in and we say we want to add an a, a, a turnout control switch at address 325. So we'll type 325 in here. And that's all we need to do. We say create. And if you look on here, now we have a switch, uh, a, a turnout control switch set at 325. And at this moment, it's not associated with anything on our uh, layout up here because we're still, we still have this one connected to uh, number 11. What we're going to do now is on this diagram, we're going to left, uh, uh, correction, right quick click on the turnout itself, which brings up this uh, menu and we can edit the menu. I'll bring the window down so we can see it while we're doing it. And in this case, it says the turnout is currently set to, to uh, local net turnout 11, which is the address that operates, uh, that would operate if we were actually uh, clicking on this switch. We want to change that to associate that turnout with turnout number 325. When you pull the, the, the box down, you're only get, going to get those turnouts that are available for assignment. So in this case, we get 11 because it's already assigned there. But we're going to change that to 325. We just click on it. So all we have to do is say done. And at this point, this turnout, even though it's I've got it labeled as turnout 11, it's really turnout number 325. That's a bit of a problem if you like to keep your labels. And there is a workaround about that. And maybe in a later video, I'll show you how to do that. But for now, all I want to show you is how to associate uh, this turnout on the diagram with the turnout on uh, the, the SE74, the motor control. If we were to click on this turnout diagram, it will, it will change the actual turnout motor because we've now associated it with the SE74 address 325. And I'll just hold this up here where you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. The lighting is not good when I do it this way, but you'll be able to see that the motor is moving. So as I click on this turnout on the diagram, the motor itself is actually going to change. So we have now associated that diagram with the SE74 address of 325, and it is reversing the polarity on the on the uh, control contacts for this turnout number one on the SE74, which is addressed at 325 as we've been through this whole process. So that's all there is to it, to making, to associating a particular turnout with this diagram. And at this point, we can
control the turnout solely by clicking on this diagram. If we change this to out of the edit mode, you'll get just this diagram. You can't make any changes to it, except you can still click on it. That changes it and it still changes the turnout motor. So at this point in time, we have completely associated uh, the SE74 and with that turnout motor. We could likewise do the same thing with uh, number uh, 12 down here, number 13, number 14. This would, the number 12 would be 326, this would be 327, and this one would be 328. And then we could control each of those turnout motors with uh, the SE74. And that's how you assign your uh, turnouts on the diagram to the digital uh, decoder in the SE74, which operates the associated uh, tortoise motor. We'll have more to talk about on the lighting in uh, another video soon to come.